Victor Kwan. I am Yusuf, first in class of 2022. Yeah, went to Harvard and and then you know the you know the rest of the story. I also um, played in the college system for four or five years. I don't I don't know how many years. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited to be a part of the interview. Played all my junior career in Egypt. I went to high school in Egypt. And then um, I already had uh, like my mind made up about going to college, so it wasn't like a, a kind of like a big decision for me because I already knew I wanted to study abroad in the U.S. I think um, in Egypt there was like um, a lot of pressure from uh, coaches about uh, not going to study abroad, and I think there was a there was a moment where a lot of Egyptians were actually committed to you know going uh, to study in the U.S. Um, so for me, I wasn't really like looking at either of those things. Like I wasn't influenced by the people going to the U.S. nor influenced by my coaches who wanted me to stay. I remember seeing you uh, in the podium in most of the uh, British Junior Open, right? Yeah. When personally I was still uh, trying to make it through round three or quarterfinal match, and it's only uh, I guess in my my last two years that I I, I did I did a little better and reached the final of. Uh, of uh, the World Junior Championship and the British. Um, but yeah, I guess I had the same thought process that it wasn't really uh, a no-brainer that I was gonna go pro and I actually enjoyed my my academics too. So uh, I wanted to pursue both academics and squash and that wasn't really an option for me in France. So uh, I guess I looked at the other side of the Atlantic and, and thought it was gonna it, it could be a good option to actually go to the US. So I think I remember now, we played once on the on the PSA tour in Italy, if you remember. Ah, that's right. I was, uh, I think, the top seed or one of the top seed and you were just starting and you chopped me in three games. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's to demonstrate I had to catch up a little bit uh, during my junior year, or at least when we started to play on the pro tour. Um, but then in, in college squash, I guess I, I had the advantage of playing on the high team too. I think that always helped <laughs> to play Yusef on the high team because Yusef would go for shots. And my mindset was that I need to just stay consistent and keep uh, moving him around. And, and so, yeah, it was definitely helpful. Uh, it was nice as well to play in that, in a different environment uh, in college uh, to play for our teammates. Uh, but I think I, I always uh, enjoyed playing matches uh, with you, I think our life, uh, our uh, play style are very different. We we've got different approaches to a game, but it's always a fair and enjoyable match. And I enjoy just running around and and being uh, outplayed sometimes as well, and just having to to keep my head up and, and go for the next rally. Definitely think. I mean, if I had gone Milan Towers back, I would have definitely made that decision. Um, I think that the really good thing about us coming in the same time and also a lot of good players, a lot of top juniors like Marwan Tarek, you know, Saad, a lot of actually really, really good juniors who could have gone professionally, um, chose to, you know, study in Ivy League. We had different paths, people, you know, you know, do or some people ended up working in really good uh, companies. We enjoyed on the tour, uh, but I guess like we all it came in the same era, I would say, like where college squash was really, really strong. And the fact that I see now a lot of a lot of college players who were studying, whether it's an Ivy League, you know, like a top 20 ranking school, whether like you're, you know, um, in any school, not just Ivy League, but like playing in the college system in the U.S. and have have an idea or like have a motivation to actually like go through after um, that makes me really happy because it wasn't it's like a phenomenon that wasn't existing before and if you see the percentage of players that I actually graduate right now from the US colleges they like most of them have a desire and motivation to play squash on the tour it was quite tough to to compete uh, in college because you know you, you can't just think about yourself uh, there's a process before the matches where you kind of have to support each other and and sometimes you enter on court and the the, the, the whole match is uh, is over because you've won five matches or you've lost uh, five matches already as a team and it's hard to go on court and compete, right? 
Um, there's an additional pressure as well coming with uh, playing for for a team, playing for something bigger than just yourself. And I was uh, I also felt that, especially freshman and sophomore year, that you just have to go out there and compete and give your best when you're also thinking about your uh, performances on the on the professional tour. Because because uh, we we both played on professional tour while being in college and. And so every time we had to just come back on campus and kind of get ready for those college matches, uh, it was definitely a, a, a challenge. And I remember, I remember with the, I lost a few matches to Andrew Douglas, and every time we uh, competed against each other on the PSA tour, I would win. And I would be like, how come I cannot win on the in college squash? And I would actually win quite convincingly on the on the pro tour. And it's just like there's a different environment. And Andrew was uh, dealing with that a little better than I was, uh, maybe because he was raised in that environment of uh, playing in high school and uh, being an American player playing college squash. Uh, but it definitely uh, uh, helped us to get more mature, uh, think about, uh, put things in, in perspective and, and uh, get better uh, as players and, and persons. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't regret going to college at all. I think it was the right decision. And now that we graduated, I think we've, we still have a couple of years of playing on the Pro Tour and we're going to see each other a lot uh, and compete against each other a lot in, in, in the next few years. So I'm looking forward to that.